Hey, Daryl Weston here. We're uh, back at the uh, Mazama Mountaineering Center doing a little practice here. I got Pat climbing up the wall here, and uh, hopefully he doesn't fall off on that overhang. So, oh, and there he went. So we had a little overhang on this route here, and uh, so I knew if he fell off there, he can't get back on the wall. Pat, you gonna need me to lower you? Yeah, Pat needs lowered. So. Uh, we're going to use the Purcell Pressic method this time. Okay, and if I butcher the names on certain things, well, that's just how I roll, right? Um, okay, well, the problem is, is that's my personal one clipped in with. Okay, so I've got to take that off. And you know, I could rig another personal pro so that I would still be clipped in. But I'm okay being on the rope here, so um, I'm going to dispense with that, and that'll make this system a little cleaner for you guys to see. So I've taken my personal off, which is the Purcell, and I'm going to take it right down here on the load strand, and I'm going to attach it with the pressy hitch. A little bit cumbersome. There's a lot of cord and a big knot. But it just takes a little bit of effort and you get it. There. All right, so I've got that. Now I can take this back up and I'm going to lock it here on one side of my anchor. Got a pretty good anchor there. Okay, now I'm going to make sure that I've got it tightened up so that it's as short as it'll go here. Then I'm going to slide it down the rope so that it bites a little bit. And then we're going to use the ratchet part here of our auto blocking ATC guide. We're going to use that beaner in that ratchet mode to lower the climber and get a little bit of that weight. There we go. So now, the weight is on the Purcell instead of on the guide. All right, so now I've got some slack. Before I take this out, I need to make sure I get myself a system in to protect the climber. So I'm going onto the shelf with a, needs to be an HMS beaner because I'm gonna put it on here and use it to uh, um, set up a, a, a muntner, a munter. All right, so actually, let's uh, try and keep this neat. I'll put that on there. there we go. Okay, so now I've got it on here. I need to keep my hand on the brake from now on, okay? Because I'm going to pull it out of the auto blocking ATC guide mode. All right, and I can take it up. <coughs> All right, so now I've got it on there. Now the way I reweight this system is to loosen my Purcell. All right, Jim, I'm gonna lower you a little bit if you can hear me. All right, so there. Now I'm loose here. I've weighted my Muntner hitch here. Now what's important is I've gotta to remember to keep this slid up. And to help me keep it that way, if I can take it, a lot of weight there. I think Jim's wearing a big pack. Sorry, Pat. Okay, so if I can keep that slid up, then even if it slides back and locks again, I've got enough material here that I can slip it loose again. So I want to make sure I maintain this. All right, Pat, lowering. And we'll start lowering. And I just got to make sure I maintain control here. I don't let this lock up. So I can lower as far as I need to on this. And I know eventually he'll hit the ground down there. Again, I just keep tending it. All right, so Pat's on the ground now. And uh, so what, what we're gonna do now is he's probably gonna wanna reclimb this. 
And this is where it actually gets to be a little bit of an issue. So, uh, hey, Pat, you ready to climb? Go ahead and climb on. All right, Pat's going to climb again. So, as Pat climbs, of course, it's going to pop over, right? That's how we know that Muntner works. There we go. I just got to keep adjusting that. And he's going to climb up. Hopefully, he won't fall off this time. The catch to this is, though, oops, damn it, got to make sure I don't suck that in, is now I'm not hands free anymore. So, this actually kind of works as a backup to my belay as long as I keep it in the right place. But I'm not hands free. Can't really stack this rope. Yeah, I guess I can. Hold on, Pat. All right. So there we go. We've defeated it, the ATC guide auto block, using the Purcell pressing. And then we continue to uh, belay up with the Muntner. We could put it back into the uh, ATC, put it back in the auto block mode, um, just take another step, uh, but it is doable. So that's it. Another option for uh, defeating the plaquette.